Thomas Simons was born in Chicago in 1932 and lived there until his parents moved the family to Vancouver, British Columbia. Following college, one of his early jobs was at the Hinton Mill in Alberta. Later, he returned to H.A. Simons, the company started by his father, who is shown here with Tom. As eventual leader of H.A. Simons, Tom continued an engineering practice initiated by his grandfather in Chicago, expanding the company domestically and internationally through new offices and acquisitions. This engineering project took place in the Republic of South Africa. During his tenure, H.A. Simons became one of the two largest global consultants in the forestry industry and placed Vancouver in the ranks of Helsinki, Finland. Examples are the Australian newsprint mill in Albury, Australia, and the Howe Sound Pulp and Paper Limited's Bleachcraft Pulp Mill Modernization and Newsprint Machine Edition on the British Columbia coast. Simons was the first North American consulting firm to engineer a pulp and paper mill in a communist country, that being Poland. Tom met with Soviet President Gorbachev when he visited Vancouver and later with Russia's President Yeltsin. In 1992, Tom was awarded an honorary degree from Simon Fraser University. And here we see Tom's wife Jennifer on the day she received her doctorate from Simon Fraser. The Simons have two daughters, two sons, and two grandchildren. In 1990, the family gathered to celebrate the marriage of daughter Rosalind. Tom and daughter Dr. Penelope Simons pause to have their photo taken at a family gathering, as do Jennifer and their eldest son, Dr. Andrew Simons. Rounding out the family group is Andrew with his brother Jeffrey. A proud grandpa holds granddaughter Anna in 1998 and Jennifer helps six-year-old grandson Max celebrate his birthday this past June. In 1985, Jennifer established the Simons Foundation with funding from the engineering company to actively promote education in peace, disarmament, global cooperation, human rights, social justice, and environmental issues. The foundation is now funded by the Simons family.